Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to unbox a knife that I have not looked at yet. It has been eating away at me all day. This arrived today, uh, which whenever you see this video was probably a few days ago, but it arrived today and I've been really busy uh, with work and some family stuff this evening and so I haven't had a chance to open it and I really wanted to open it on camera. So. I just actually ripped it out of its box that it came in um, and then realized I needed to turn the camera on because I wanted you guys to see this. So as you can see from the box and from the title, this is a lion steel knife. They're made in Italy. Um, and I ordered this from uh, CK Knives or CollectorKnives.net, I believe is the website. And I'll leave a link to their website in the description because it's the only place where this particular series of knives is available. It is exclusive to that uh, to that company. And Collector Knives is a small family-owned company out of Oklahoma. So it only took a couple days to get here from Texas and it was free shipping, which is nice. So it's a, it's a tr traditional knife, a modern traditional certainly. And it's definitely the most expensive modern traditional or traditional for that matter that I've ever purchased. And as we can see from the invoice here, uh, the total cost was $120 for the knife, no tax or shipping, um, and it arrived in just a couple days. So this is the uh, what they call the model CK01, or at least the series is CK01. So let's open the box and see which variant I got. I'm so excited. I've seen so many pictures, but I haven't seen it. And I already love it. Okay. Wow. That is beautiful. So I'm really excited to open this and look a little more closely at it, but I want to tell you the model number or the model name rather. This particular one, again, they call these the CK01s, um, but this particular one is the Lion Steel Roundhead Spearjack Bone Micarta in M390 steel. And I think all of the CK01 variants come in M390, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this one is the uh, round nose, uh, or I'm sorry, round head spear jack. The handle is beautiful. It is micarta, what they call bone micarta. And it is exquisitely gorgeous. The bolster up here is titanium, which feels pretty seamless between the micarta. There's the spine there, or the back spring, which is rounded over, which is just looks insanely high quality, just the way everything's rounded over. Uh, let's take a look at the blade. Nice half stop there. And there is the blade, the round head spear jack. So you got that spear point shape with that nice swedge on top, a nice elongated nail nick, which is actually not um, a modern thing necessarily. A lot of older traditional knives have a, that longer kind of nail nick there. And as you can see from the blade, if I can get a good angle here, it says Lion Steel Italy CK Edition. So that's Collector Knives, the website, only place you can get them. And then of course, here we see M390. So. Obviously, the reason for the price on this is going to be the steel being M390, one of the best steels on the market, if not the best. Uh, 20 CV is pretty good too. Um, the micarta, the titanium, all those things add to the cost. And then just the, the fit and finish on this is unbelievable. Just the craftsmanship. These are, are handmade knives, and they are absolutely beautiful. Holy crap. It's the first knife I've owned from Lion Steel. They make all kinds of knives, and, and collector knives where I bought this, they sell all kinds of knives as well. Uh, but this particular model was exclusive to them, and I just, when I saw it, I knew I had to have one, and it is, I'm, I'm blown away. It's absolutely stunning to me. I love, tra <clears throat> I love traditionals, and this blade shape is phenomenal. They, they come in all different kind of shapes and sizes. They've got spear point versions. You can get handle scales in carbon fiber, ebony, G10, uh, you know, all sorts of variants, but this is the one that really spoke to me. Um, there's that half stop, just, just gorgeous. I mean, 
the attention to detail and the, the centering there and just everything being just so smooth and rounded over. Uh, I am totally impressed by this. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I recently posted a video uh, about the Benchmade bug out, which costs the same as this actually. And with this knife, you're getting arguably the best steel available. Gorgeous micarta handles, titanium, and a fit and finish that's beyond um, any traditional knife that I own, and certainly beyond the Benchmade bug out. So, you know, if you're talking about what you can get for the money, this is, in my opinion, $120 very well spent. It looks like it has some of that copper uh, grease on there to, to grease up the, the pivot, which is not uncommon on knives like this. It is very smooth. And that blade shape is just killer. I totally dig that. Um, so yeah, that's the Lion Steel uh, CK01 series, the Roundhead Spearjack. Um, I'm blown away by this. I'm gonna carry the hell out of it, use the hell out of it, test this M390. I've owned one, uh, two other knives in M390, but um, this will be definitely a daily user for me. Let's see how sharp it is. Cut up the invoice here. <clears throat> that is sharp. I mean, that, that is really, really sharp. Getting those little curly cues there. I don't know how this is gonna pick up on camera. I mean, I'm just kind of letting the blade do the work here. But, well, of course now I'm gonna go and tear the paper. Sure, you probably don't want to see all of this, but I'm I'm just kind of enamored with this knife right now, and so I'm gonna keep cutting. Let's try to do like a push cut if we can get one started here. Yeah, it's sharp, and M390 is gonna hold such forever. So I'm totally digging this. Uh, I bought a really nice leather pocket slip for this that has a pocket clip on it. It's a really interesting design. I bought it from a gentleman in Germany. Should be here in about a week. And uh, I posted that on my Instagram uh, page. So if you wanna check that out, please do. Uh, so yeah, I'm blown away. I'll take some time to fondle and play with this for the next hour probably before I go to bed. And then starting tomorrow, it's gonna live in my pocket. So that's it, Lion Steel CK01 series. Again, links in the description for both collectorknives.net uh, as well as my Instagram and Facebook accounts. If you wanna see the leather uh, pocket sheath that I ordered for this, you can check that out there. Thank you all so much for watching and expect a full review on this at some point in the future if I didn't already mention that. I'll carry it for probably at least two to three weeks before I do a full review because I, I plan to put a ton of use on this in the next uh, few weeks. So expect a full and detailed review. Uh, this is more of a first impressions unboxing and me just being uh, delighted with this knife. So thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you on the next one.